Hi everyone, welcome to Flash in the Pan second inaugural stream. Uh, we are starting with Cannibalt. I, 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 as I was saying to, to Tom just before, I haven't played this in ah oh, so long. I actually think I'm pretty good. At, I'm, I'm pretty good at these. These. Oh, never mind what I was just saying. Never mind what I was just saying. This is the commute. <laughs> this is the. Oh my fucking god! What is wrong with me? Mm, ah. <laughs> Probably for the best. Oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> oh, why would you do this? <laughs> why? Another game this reminds me of, um, aesthetic wise, yeah. is a Cut Life. Cut Life, Cut Life? What? Uh,. First I park my car, and then I... Th no, no. No, no. Stop. <laughs> uh, get back, I bite in the chat saying, I remember playing this game when I was 12, and thinking there had to be some kind of tie-in story I was missing, in case because there's so much going on. The Cannibal has been out so long now that there's probably like a decent length like, fanfiction about it, or at least the words around it somewhere. Out the Cannibal fan fiction. There's gotta be. Someone called Elroy Head. Um, back in 2010, uh, wrote, uh, basically, yeah, the, the post says, um, you know what's a good game? Cannabalt. Go ahead and play it. It's only got one button. Play it and come back here. If you'll notice, Cannabalt doesn't have a storyline. Let's fix that. And what follows is, um, a full short story set in oh, uh, the wow. universe of Cannabalt. I remember way, way back when I was, I, I, uh, I was working in a toy shop and we oh, had yeah. these, uh, um, I, I mean, I've worked in several toy shops, but in one of the toy shops, I was, uh, um, we sold, like, um, special, like, uh, drinking cups, you know, with, like, with, like, what, with, like, uh, fancy straws and so on. Like a silly straw? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, you know, with the other cartoon characters on. Yeah. And there was, a, there was this one lady who was buying it, and before she bought it, she said, how do you clean this? And I said, uh, well, you just wash it up through the sink. He said, yeah, but how do you get the water through the straw? I said, well, no, the, the water should just automatically go through. It just, it just goes through because it's in the sink. And she said, what? You suck the water through? No. Oh, my God. No, it's a straw. <laughs> I, it's I was hollow. You... <laughs> I just looked at her and I just said, yes. <laughs> and she still bought it. So. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> uh... Tom, you're a genius, says Joe. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those games that's just so, like, figuratively and literally easy to play. Oh, god fucking damn it. Well, everyone say bye, Cannibal. Bye. There it goes. Bye, Cannibal. Thanks for coming. Probably get this to look a little bit. Maybe make the egg message smaller. <laughs> yeah, maybe let's get rid of the egg message. Or just. I think it's had its time. You have to burn. Oh, you have to burn the rope. Okay. There you go. Have fun. So as you can see, this is uh, this is the first Dark Souls game. <laughs> um. Oh. Yeah, you shit. Oh. You managed to kill that boss. So yeah. <laughs> Wait, is that it? You're the hero we all wish we could. You burned the rope. With you is, that, is that seriously the whole game? Then you grab that fire. <laughs> I need you to try to kill the boss with your weapon, okay. You burn the rope and save the There's a very important detail to it. Alright. <laughs> a friend, a friend just DM'd me. No, yeah, my friend Kieran, who's watching, just DM'd me saying, "I can't believe you even considered removing the egg message." <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. Let me let me make this correct. Cause I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm so fucking sorry. Hey, Joe, did you lie to us? <laughs> hey, Joe. So was that was that the thing you wanted to show us how it was literally impossible to kill the guy with the weapon? So you really do have to burn the rope. Okay. 
Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Uh, someone's somebody saying there isn't much narrative to synergize with. The narrative Ooh. is you have to burn the rope. Okay, there's a hot yeah. debate going on right now. <laughs> right. Somebody get Ian Bogost in here. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this. Mmm, I'm 12 again. Yes, Stickman are just full to the brim with blood. Alright, so we can make the window bigger, that also makes it bigger on the... Oh... So we can zoom in on the beautiful assets. Ah, yeah. Look at those flags. Okay. Defend you! Okay, what, 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 are, what do we do in this game? Exactly, what, what do we do? Well, there's a castle there. Yes. Uh, so you defend the castle. All right, well, I pick this guy up. Try to find him. <laughs> Man, this shit's easy. Oh, famous last words, oh, my famous friend. Famous last words, yeah. Listen, things yeah. will escalate. Oh, Do I'm not sure. worry. I'm sure. This looks like a YouTube ad. It kind of <laughs> does, doesn't it? See, 2003 was a simpler time where. <laughs> Just the mass deaths of stick people was still the most engaging outcome of any media event. Oh, now that is a beautiful sentence there from Vile saying, I remember learning how to code HTML for my Neopet storefront just so I could include a MIDI of the Inuyasha ending theme. <laughs> That's the fucking peak 2000 experience, baby! Oh yeah! Kids these days they don't even know. They don't even know. This game, I feel like this game could do with like some background music, maybe. Yeah, it's very bare bones. Um, again from the chat, um, I became a furry because I was looking for Sly Cooper wallpapers to add to my Neopets page. That's how it starts. <laughs> That's the gateway right there. You watch one episode of Tailspin and it's all over. <laughs> I think the, I think the bird song adds a naturalistic verisimilitude to the mise en scene. Thank you, Krista. <laughs> thank you, very much. thank you for thanks for that. It's good. Right, great. Joe says uh, the lack of music, the lack of music, provides a good opportunity for blasting Limp Biscuit. We don't want to get um, copyright struck. You know what we could do though. Is rapid ourselves? Uh, no, we can go to youtube.com and type Limp Bizkit Rolling Midi. <laughs> okay, I was trying that. Oh fuck, we're gonna lose the castle. We've got a flag. The top 10 anime deaths. Can we click the flag? Wait, what did. What did. It did something! The Limp Bizkit Midi needs to be quieter now. <laughs> so um, I have uh, four words for you, which okay. you might recognize from when this game first dropped. Yeah. Don't shit your pants. <laughs> you really need to take a shit. Uh, okay. Don't. You don't know how to don't. Walk east. You don't know how to walk east? What? TikTok. <laughs> no. <laughs> so uh, let's I'm see. I'm pushing the door open, but it won't dump. Ah, toilet. <laughs> I've never heard you so excited. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay, pull door. Uh, <laughs> uh. Hey! The 
oncoming shit and your ever present pants. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when an unstoppable shit meets an immovable pair of pants? <laughs> I've just realised something. The, mm-hmm. aim, the name of the game is Don't Shit Your Pants. It doesn't say anything about and shit in the toilet. If this came out today, how do you think it would be received? Um, if this came out today, um, I imagine it would be uh, developed by David Cage. <laughs> and it would be um, a full VR experience that cost $70 for uh, 30 seconds of gameplay and would feature a fully rendered, um, let's say, Alan Tudyk um, of penis and testicles. <laughs> also, congrats, Alex. You shit on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we haven't. <laughs> See, expert techniques. <laughs> Shitting 101 award. Fart gently. You farted lightly. Relief, that gives you. That gives you so much time back. Do your ca- pants have pockets? Uh. You check your pockets, you find some pills for stomach relief, it says they take 45 seconds to start working. Hopefully they'll start working in time. Wait, how long did it say it took them to start working? Uh oh! Uh, it takes 45 seconds, okay. All right, now we just wait for those pills to kick in. The pills worked! Hooray! You didn't shit your pants. Uh oh, wait a minute. Oh, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, really? Wow. <laughs> it's a tale of human tragedy, you know? <laughs> this is the spec of the <laughs> line of video games. <laughs> so wait, can you just <laughs> Mwah. Wow. Beautiful. They don't Perfect. make them they don't make them like this anymore. No, they do not. Uh, uh, I I believe there is an option just to kill yourself in this really? game. Really? I believe so. So Oh. I see. There you go. Um, you um, you can also take off your trousers before dying, but that doesn't that doesn't change things. Let's just do it anyway for la- for laughs. But look, you are the shit king. Six Semper Tyrannus. <laughs> and that's Don't Shit Your Pants. Uh, um, congratulations, you 100% of the game. <laughs> this is one of my finest gaming achievements. So um, so what should we follow them up with? Begin. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking... I'll go for H. I'm looking for other Limp Biscuit middies. <laughs> Oh my god! So this this Limp Biscuit MIDI has text to speech. <laughs> I can't hear it. Wait, 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 one second. Wait, wait, one second, one second, one second. Why do you want to justify ripping someone's head off? No human contact. And if you interact, your life is on contract. Your best bet is to stay away, motherfucker. It's just one of those days. What's all about that he says, she says, bullshit. I think you better quit, letting shit slip, or you'll be leaving with a fat lip. What's all about that he says, she says. Oh, this is just art. I think you better quit talking with shit. I love it. I love it it's so much. I'm keeping it on. Fuck it. Yep, my <laughs> life yep. is complete. <laughs> Thank you, Robo Fred Dust. Deal or no deal. Just might break your fucking face tonight. <laughs> 
<laughs> My face is doing the same face as we've got on the left. <laughs> but you know, that was really fun. Thank you, Alex, for 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 being our guinea pig for, uh, the, for all that. Yeah, no, it was uh, it was good. Uh, and yeah, and thank you to all of you wonderful Flashketeers for joining us. As as a treat, I will uh, I will bring back the egg message. <laughs> hey. Have a little good. egg as a treat. <laughs> yes, exactly. I mean, it's cream egg season. It so, is. Uh... Oh, would you like to share with the class? <laughs> so I just searched. Out of curiosity, I searched cream egg flash game. Yeah. It turns out that uh, to coincide with the 2012 Olympics and the Cadbury's sponsorship, they made a series of cream eggs Olympics games that you could play in a flash. Throw your goo, my dude. Someone's file said, check Flashpoint, what if some mad motherfucker saved them? I mean, let's check. All right. How about Cadbury? Oh, that's a good... Um, good shout. Cadbury. Oh. Wait, let's, wait, really? No. Use your twisted launcher to... <laughs> Fling goo <laughs> as far as you can. My twisted launcher. <laughs> what is what is what is this? What is I don't like I don't think I like that very much. <laughs> what is that noise? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Twisted City banned on Twitch. Like, just the style of it made me keep thinking it's going to scroll further to, to the right and Weeble and Bob are going to be there. It's Vile's message. Thanks for playing this, but never do it again. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that was that was great fun. Thank you all for, for coming and joining us. And uh, if you're watching the uh, highlights reel or the VOD, then hello to you. Thank you for joining us from the future, church, church. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Bye. Please, please don't dream about that last cabaret game. Goo.